<laughs> our next item we will have um, from David Weir. Our students will come and share with us regarding what does Common Core look like in the extended school year? Good evening, Governing Board members. We are students from David e. Weir Preparatory Academy, and we want to thank you for this opportunity. My name is Jose Gonzalez, and I am in sixth grade. This summer, we attended extended school year, and we were able to go on a field trip to Angel Island. We had a great time researching immigration history in America by reading informational texts focusing on two main immigration centers. Hi, my name is Abisai and I am in the fifth grade. This summer we learned that America is a melting pot. People from different countries immigrated to America for many different reasons. Many came to make a better living for their family. Hi, my name is Asasana and I am in the fifth grade. While reading these informational texts, we took notes and collaborated to write our summaries. We read the books, then prepared for a video. We wrote down all of the steps, drew pictures, and acted out, and then put everything together to make a, vid a video. We hope you enjoy a small clip from our video in summer. In America is either an immigrant or a descendant of an immigrant. What happened at Ellis Island? Doctors would examine you while you walk up the stairs, and if you need further examination, they would write a chalk mark on you, then take you to um, a hospital room. The stays were fairly short and weren't that bad. What happened to Angel Island? Chinese first immigrated to America because of the gold rush, but they had to pay mining taxes. And had to mine in the abandoned mines. After the gold rush, they built the transcontinent railroad. And also Chinatowns. Anger against the Chinese because they were willing to work for low pay and low working conditions. That led to attacks by mobs. Coaching papers because Angel Eisen made the questions more difficult. But even if people were honest, some would get deported. Was difficult at Angel Island. People wrote poems about their time and struggles. I fed on wind and tasted waves. With luck, I arrived safely in the United States. I thought I could land in a few days. How was I to know that I would become a prisoner suffering in this wooden building? Doctors checked us for hookworms. My luck failed. I couldn't go ashore. Why should a young man regard his life so lightly? To whom can I plead for redressing such a grave injustice? 
after day, a prisoner in this wooden house, my freedom in chains. I can't bear to talk about it. I look around for a happy face among those who only sit in silence. Birds from landing, fearful of being deported back to China. There is no way for me to face the elders east of the river. I anticipated wealth, but it's only poverty. Alas, that I've reaped. Disembark, husband's hand on the shoulder of his wife. See the Japanese disembark, beaming with pride. Alas, innocent. Are we Chinese not allowed to land in America? Imprisoned, but why? Freedom of religion. To be welcoming. Freedom of speech. Everyone's made equally. Equal rights. Everyone is treated with respect. You can get an education. Freedom of opportunity. Justice. Dream big. Able to make a difference. To have a choice. To be free. I just wanted to say that they have an amazing teacher, Miss Nicole Rogers. And when we were at um, Angel Island, um, we were on a field trip, and we happened to be with a group of students from Stanford University. And the kids answered all the questions from the park ranger. So the, kid, the Stanford students came up to us afterwards and said, where are you from? And I said, well, we're from Fairfield Sassoon. And they said, well, what school do these kids go to? And I said, well, we're from David Ware Preparatory Academy. And they said, well, that explains it because they are absolute geniuses. <laughs> so, and they just have an amazing teacher and they're amazing <coughs> students. And we're just very fortunate to have the support of the district to get to have the kids have these opportunities. So thank you. Thank you.